outside of Chicago, and I will tell you about yourself. Growing up black in Chicago, it was fun. I feel like Chicago is unique because everybody from Chicago got its own style that's true to them. Anywhere you go. Have you heard or have you had the chance to see the VH1 docuseries Growing Up Black? It takes an unfiltered and in-depth look at the differences in the black experience from what its city to the next across the country. And the next chapter is called Growing Up Black in Chicago. And joining us to tell us more is senior producer Heather Haynes. Good morning to you, Heather. Nice to have you on. Good morning. How are you? Thank I am you doing great. Me. Tell us what people could expect when they see the show. Growing Up Black is, like you mentioned, an unfiltered and in-depth look at the black experience across America. Um, viewers can expect just to see a wide range of storytelling from black people. Okay, so what stands out about the Chicago chapter? Because you have done others. What makes this one different than maybe some other cities? Chicago is unique. I mean, every single city that I've been to is unique. But Chicago, we have G Herbo. We have uh, Shay Ryan Fest, Jason Buckner, uh, BJ the Chicago Kid. So I think this one will really hit home with natives of Chicago because of the influential people that we have featured amongst this cast. And they touch upon from everything from gang violence, gun violence, to music, to culture. Okay, let's talk about that because what are some of the things that you think that we'll see um, because it is unfiltered that might be surprising to people or shocking or heartfelt? Um, I think it will be heartfelt when you talk about gun violence because you know in mainstream media, I feel like Chicago is represented poorly sometimes with all of the gun violence. I just got an alert this weekend about the gun violence that happened over this past weekend. So I think hearing natives and locals perspective about like how we can improve gun violence and how does it affect the neighborhood and how does it affect the community will really hit home. So what are some of the positive things? What are some of the positive highlights? Because this is a great city and yes. I'm sure you had some great <laughs> stories to share. Absolutely, it's tons of positive highlights, even from black entrepreneurship, that's a main theme throughout this episode and throughout all of the episodes about ownership and um, staying in your community and still being able to find success within your own neighborhood. So how many parts in this series are about Chicago and what do you want people to walk away with? It is five parts, stay tuned for more, but mm -hmm. I want people to walk away being empowered and inspired that it's your story is important. I feel like all black stories are important and we should share them more often. That's why this series is here. And I want people to walk away with just being motivated. You know, uh, you, as I said, you've done others and it sounds like you're gonna plan on doing more. What inspired you to put this type of series together? Um, I was just really jaded with what I was seeing on mainstream media. This series was ideated and conceptualized during the height of the Black Lives Matter movement when there was a lot of black trauma on television. So this series, I wanted to be a breath of fresh air to show the wide range and the complexities of the black story. I love it. Well, you are a breath of fresh air, Heather Haynes. How can people watch? Where should they go? When can they enjoy? Thank you. The Chicago episode premieres today at 4 p.m. EST on VH1's YouTube channel. Very nice. Well, good luck. And I know you've got more in the works. So good luck with everything you're doing. Can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay.